Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Boisterous coming to you with another mini game madness for this day. Uh, spying down here in the bottom left hand corner of Shakur's Plateau, we do have Kane as the red Protoss, and up here in the top right hand corner, we have his opponent, Vin, as the blue Protoss. We're going to have a bit of a PvP on this map, and of course, I'm guessing that most of you have seen the last game I've posted today, and if you haven't, go watch it. Uh, it's literally like a four minute video, but it's probably some of the funniest StarCraft I have ever watched in my life. I, uh,. I, I can't believe, all I can say about that video is that, and, and this is kind of a spoiler, Vin is a boss, an absolute boss, unbelievable boss mode qualities. Um, we have a bit of a hidden pylon going down here for Kane, so it's going to be kind of interesting. This is a very awkwardly placed pylon. Basically, if you put a pylon here, you're either DT rushing or you're cannon rushing. Um, and I'm going to guess cannon rushing, just because that seems like the motif for the day. Uh, Vin also dropping their pro their pylon exactly like they did last time. There is the forge going down for Kane. Um, this is definitely interesting. I don't know why you would put your forge there because this is like the most mysterious thing ever. Like your opponent isn't gonna get up into your base and be like, "Oh, where's his forge? I guess he might be building, you know, a gateway somewhere else." No, no, no. They're just gonna be like, "Oh, he's just he's building the forge." Elsewhere. All right, it looks like Vin is sneaking his first probe up into the main base. He's going to be getting a bit of a scout out off here. Let's see, does Kane detach any probes to chase him? No, he attaches all of the probes to try to kill him and none to chase him. Genius, genius move there by Kane. It looks like this probu, being a little bit confused, heading on to the wrong base. That is perfectly a okay. Um, let's see, what's what's this probe doing? You have a can't, you have a forge. Start building the cannon. What you do. There we go. There are the pylons going down for Vin. Uh, great, great. I love whenever cannons are put into use. Uh, they're basically the most fantastic unit in the game. Um, and he must be getting a little bit suspicious at this point that there is nothing in the main base for. Oh, whoa. Vin dropping a super aggressive pylon there. That's. That's not going to have a lot of mystery behind it. Um, <laughs> I think if I see a pylon building behind my mineral line, I'm kind of just like, okay, he's cannon rushing me. Awesome. There, the Photon Cannon is now going down. It looks like the Pylon U is going down in the main base for Vin. There is already a cannon building here. This is genius by Vin. When he didn't see any sort of tech, he knew there was a Forge or, you know, a two Gate Zealots coming out. And honestly, Photon Cannons are great against both of those strategies. It's hard to bust down Photon Cannons no matter what you do. Um, and really, having this Photon Cannon right here and right here basically prevents any sort of Photon Cannon encroachment into his own base. So this Photon Cannon is completely useless. It's not even going to block any territory. Uh, we do have Vin with the completed Pylon now up here. Um, and it looks like Kane has built a second Pylon here. And there is the Photon Cannon going down. Um, and I don't think... Is this in range? No, it is not yet in range. But he will be able to build a Cannon here that will be activated before anything else. Um, I'm not sure... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, so, whoa! That's close. That is really close. It looks like Kane is now pulling all of his probes. This is going to be a severe hit to his economy, and a couple of them are going to be going down to this nasty Photon Cannon out here. However, it is not yet in range of the Nexus, and that is key. Actually, that's not even a Photon Cannon, that's a Pylon. Oh, wow, that's sketchy. Alright, it looks like the Photon Cannon has gone down first for Vin, and that is a <laughs> that is amazingly important. Vin is saying he freaking loves him, and here this Photon Cannon will be able to maintain basic... These two will actually be able to maintain almost 360 degree protection of the main base. The only extra Photon Cannon he needs will be right here, and then it will be positionally secure as far as this main base goes. And it looks like he's going for the full surround on Kane's base. This Photon Cannon is going to come up and is going to be able to range that other one. So this Photon Cannon will go down before it manages to kill his little blue buddy up here. And that's a little bit sketchy for Kane, as this encroachment is now coming down and it's coming down hard. There's going to be two Photon Cannons within range of the main base, and that's going to be key, key when it comes into the actual fight. Because if this Nexus goes down, Kane isn't going to get out of this base for the bulk of these probes. He's going to be dead in the water. Um, and I don't know if he could cancel this Photon Cannon and maybe build up enough resources by the time this Nexus goes down where he can drop a secondary Nexus, but it really is not going to matter. It looks like he's putting all that he has into this super aggressive cannon rush, and this is a whole lot of cannons coming up right now for Kane. A whole lot of cannons. Um, this one is going to get wiped off the map, and there are more on the way. I'm surprised they didn't just pull all this probe. That definitely would have been a much more sound decision. And oh my god, is this actually going to come out as kind of a stalemate? This is intense. All right, so Kane's main Nexus goes down. He does have enough to drop another Nexus, so let's see what he does with it. Um, and it looks like Vin's Nexus is on a timer now, too. 
Oh my god. That's intense. Vin has managed to wall off the entire base, so Kane actually cannot build a Nexus. All he needs to do is eliminate um, th basically this group of cannons. And Kane is completely screwed. There's no way he's getting out of this base with any of these probes. Um, he has one probe right here that's being rapidly tracked down by the opponent. So even if he drops a Nexus and he has one shot to drop a Nexus, it's not going to be nearly enough. The only thing he can really hope for is nothing. Like, he, re he really does not have any sort of goal, and it looks like Vin has managed to win this, saying excellent bouts, sir. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I love that amount of BM. And there, there's the Nexus going down for Kane. He's going to try to make a run for the border, but he sees those three pylons there, and it's like, it's it's over. It's it's over. That Vin is way too good at cannon rushing. I can see why he's in Masters League now. That's really awesome. All right. Well, anyway, guys. Uh, I would like to congratulate Vin on a couple of really awesomely played and super entertaining games. And if you would like to watch any other games that I have commentated personally, you can head over to youtube.com slash user slash boisterous 2 As always, if you would like your games commentated, you can send them on into boisterous sc2 at gmail.com. Both of those links are in the description. So if you didn't really catch them because I talk bad, you can, uh, you can just check them out there. So anyway, guys, this is Boisterous signing out.